Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Miss Wham's Glam. I'm Claire and today I'll be doing two easy DIYs for you. A tray and a woven rug from Dollar Tree. And if you like to see how I do it, just keep watching. These are the items you'll need for this project. Some Waverly chalk paint and white, a sponge, applicator brush, some gloves, and a tray. I purchased this tray from the Goodwill on half off day. It was originally $2.49 and I paid $1.25 for it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's go to work. I'm painting the tray now and it's going to take about two coats. Top, the sides, and the bottom. And I have a little bit of chalk paint left in here, so I want to use this before I start on the new container. So I'm going to continue painting this because it's going to take a while in between coats, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. This is the completed tray. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I also changed the coaster in the middle to one that I already had. I liked it much better. It is absolutely gorgeous. These are the items you'll need for this project. Three of the woven rugs from the Dollar Tree. Some thread. You can use white or black. I'm going to use white. Some scissors and your sewing machine. So let's go to work. I'll be opening up the seam on the rugs at the sides with this seam ripper and what you do is you see the threads here where it's sewn together those white lines going down there you carefully insert the seam ripper and start tearing the thread apart as you go along down the length way of the rug. I'm kind of gathering the seams up together like this. I don't know if you can see that. Like this. And just sewing them together, holding them with my finger. And going all the way down. Once I've completed this, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. This is the completed rug, and it turned out perfect. Those are the seams, and I think they go together very well with the print in this rug. You can also make this rug with hot glue. I didn't feel like burning my hands. And I also didn't want the seams to be thick because when you hot glue it, most of the time you don't rip the seams apart and it has a bulkiness to it, especially this type of rug. This is the completed rug and it turned out absolutely adorable and it only cost me three dollars and some time. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Peace be upon you and bye.